Shalom, shalom. In today's Legends from the Zohar, we will be discussing Noah's Ark and the Raven and the Dove. To begin, we'll start off in book 22. It says, There is no precept that does not have ten sephiroth included in it. Of the Ark, it is written, With lower, second, and third stories, you shall make it. So here we are. We find that every precept has ten sephiroth, and this includes the Ark of the Covenant, and so it is written, With lower, second, and third stories you shall make it. Now. But the wise shall understand. These are the scholars of Kabbalah. It says about them, And they who were wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. This refers to those that place their effort in the splendor called the Zohar. That is like Noah's Ark, to which are gathered two from a city, seven from a kingdom, and occasionally one from a city and two from a family, by whom comes true. Every son that is born you shall cast into the river. Shemot 122. The secret of the Torah is called son that is born, means comprehended. The river is the light of the Torah. Throw him is like teach him. Every individual secret that is born to you, teach it the light of the Torah and its soul. Teach how to be receptive to the light of the Torah and its soul. This is the light of this book of Zohar, and all is due to you. Who caused all this? The raven. Since at that time you will be like a dove, this alludes to the raven and the dove that Noah sent from the ark after comparing the Zohar to Noah's ark. There was another messenger named after you, like the raven, that was originally sent from the ark, but did not return from his mission and made his effort with forbidden abominations, about which it is said that the ignorant are abominable. And he spent his efforts on them because of their money and did not strive in his mission to cause the righteous to repent. It is as if he has not fulfilled the mission of his master. Rabbi Moses Cordovero of blessed memory wrote that it refers to Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who was worthy to be the redeemer of Israel. He faltered with the golden calf, sinned, and caused many others to sin. He is compared to the raven that betrayed his mission. The secret of the dove that entered the depths of the sea shall come true with you. And likewise, you will enter the deep chasms of the Torah. This is what is written by the prophet Jonah. For you did cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas. Jonah 2.4, meaning in the sea of the Torah. Then there will be Hokmah, Chesed, and Netzach to the right. Of those, David said, the right hand of Hashem does valiantly. The right hand of Hashem is exalted. The right hand of Hashem does valiantly. Tehillim 118.15-16 The three levels of the left become connected together, which are Bina, Gavur, and Chod. And the three levels in the center, which are Keter, Tifereth, and Yisad, are attached to the right and left, since the central column is attached to the right and left. In this way, the ten Sephiroth are perfected, including the first three Sephiroth. Since the prophet saw you become connected to these three levels, Kether, Tifereth, and Yisad in the center, he pronounced upon you this verse, Behold, my servant shall prosper. The secret of Yisad, he shall be exalted and extolled, the secret of Tifereth, and be very high, Yeshiahu 52.13, the secret of Kether. You will be connected and attached to the two messiahs. David spoke of the three to the right of Hokmah, Chesed, and Netzach of Messiah the son of David and the right of Hashem three times as mentioned nearby in relation to the three left ones Bina, Gavura, and Hod to which Messiah son of Ephraim is attached he said of the one aspect of the left Gavura I shall not die and further said but live to Halim 1.18.17 from the second aspect of the left which is your Hod about this it is said that he gave hold to Moshe, meaning as it is said, and you shall put some of your honor hold upon him, Bamidbar 2720, meaning that the Holy One, blessed be he, gave him hold to be his own. 
It is given to you from the side of Mina, since the illumination of Hokma of the left of Bina is revealed in Hor. Thus in Gavura, you would have been arid and dry in every respect due to Messiah, the son of Ephraim, dry in your Torah and your prophecy and in your body, in which you have suffered too many agonies so that he should not die, Messiah, the son of Ephraim, and you pleaded for mercy on his behalf, therefore it says about him, but live from the side of Bina, and therefore I shall not die from the side of Gavura, from which comes its harsh judgment, as mentioned above, but live is from the side of Bina, meaning after Mochin were revealed from it, which are the secret of the tree of life, which is the central column that overpowers the left column, Gavura, through the reading of the Shema of Shakarit, the morning prayer, which is the secret of Chesed, it is connected to it through the knot of the Tefillin to the right of Abraham, which is Shakarit, the morning prayers, namely Chesed. And declare the works of Yah, Tehalim 118.17, from the side of Hod. Since the illumination of Hokmah, that is revealed from Bina, is revealed only from the chest downward, that is in Hod. Yah has chastised me severely, meaning with Hokmah and Bina, which are from right and left. Since Hokmah comprises three right ones, Hokmah, Chesed, and Netach, and Bina comprises three left ones, Bina, Gavur, and Hod, prior to the intervention of the central column, the right and the left are in conflict with each other, and judgments flow from them. Therefore it says, Yah has chastised me severely, but he has not given me up to death. This is the central column that comprises the three central ones, Kether, the righteous, namely Yisad, and itself, namely Tifreth. That is the son of Yah, yud -Hey. Immediately, the Vav will then raise He to yud -Hey, and the name of yud -Hey vav -Hey will be perfected in the right and the left, with mercy and beseeching, with many entreaties to Malkut and her descendants, which is what is written, On that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, Amos 9.11, that is Malkut. Therefore the prophet said, They shall come with weeping, and with supplications will I lead them, Jeremiah 31.8. The faithful shepherd rose, kissed him, and blessed him. He said, You are most likely the messenger of your master to us. The Tanaim and Amarim opened the discussion, saying, Faithful shepherd, you knew all this, and through you it was revealed. But in your humility, as was said about you, now the man Moses was very meek, Bamidbar 12.3. And... These areas that you are shy to take credit for yourself, the Holy One, blessed be He, has nominated us to the Holy Luminary, meaning Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, to act as your hand and your mouthpiece in these areas. End of Ra'ayah Mahemna, the faithful shepherd. And so this concludes our section on the raven and the dove. And we have seen there is a connection between Mashiach ben Joseph and Mashiach ben David, and they are attributed to the three Sephiroth regarding the right and the three Sephiroth regarding the left. With all of this being said, Shalom Salah.